XRP. Let's now look into XRP Ripple. So again, the macro comes into play. We believe that we'll be in a risk off environment in the coming day or two because of hawkish Fed speak. Um, so now looking at some of these alts and looking at XRP in particular, we see that that price is at a major horizontal resistance, this sort of 69, 70 cents area, all the way up until say 72, 73 cents. We think this is going to be a difficult area for price to overcome. Now we've had very bullish momentum, which has taken price significantly higher. Is it possible to get a further leg higher? Yes, it, it is. We can get up to say 80, even in here, in the 81, 84 sort of cent area. Um, but if we look at this from the mechanics point of view first, we can see the weighted funding rate is still very positive. It has come down in the last day or so, but it still is very positive, which we can see at 0.0292%. That's a significant bias to be long. If we look at the open interest, very high still. Come on, if it loads, there we go. Still very high. I mean, not historically high back in July, you had that massive move. But again, that was during this move, which was monstrous. So that's why you had so much uh, leverage come in. When all that leverage comes in, that's usually likely to be flushed out, which is exactly what happens at price. Again, it took some time from mid-July to say early mid-August, you got the flush out. So it can take some time. So just because we suggest that this is becoming overheated and it's being very positioned towards longs doesn't mean it can't have another leg higher in the very short term. We're just suggesting that the potential upside here isn't that phenomenal to the upside and you are taking a relatively big risk by longing or buying more at this current price in that there is likely to be some kind of flush out in the coming days or weeks and therefore you wouldn't want to be buying into this now with that expectance of a flush out in the next week or so maybe a couple of weeks because you'd be buying in now with an expectation of it coming down five to 15 percent so it's not something you really want to partake in now however if you are in XRP and you're in for a very low price, you might not want to sell at this level. What you may want to do is if you're in at sort of this kind of level, you may want to sort of sell in here at a retest of 69, 70 cents and look to reaccumulate in this kind of liquidity area here between 62 and 64 cents. So that would be a retest back down of this support and the uptrend line of support, which should provide good convergence to then potentially have another further move higher from there. Again, it will depend on Bitcoin. If Bitcoin just wants to come down, um, and the mechanics suggest that uh, it's, the mechanics on Bitcoin are very choppy. You're getting a lot of positioning changing from one side to the other very quickly. So it can it can flip flop a number of times in just a matter of a couple of hours. Um, so we would we would exercise caution overall. We think in the sort of next few weeks, there's going to be some pullback on all of this stuff and XRP moving into this major horizontal resistance. The open interest being built up like it is, the funding rate being as high as it is. We do think this is due some, I mean, this flushed out a fair amount here, but obviously it didn't flush out that much. It went from 443 down to say the uh, mid 250s and now we're back to 292 on the on the open interest weighted funding rate. So there still is a lot of le um, uh, open interest there, a lot of leverage that's been built up. So we would just exercise caution on this. We wouldn't be looking to aggressively add here or long this, but we also wouldn't be looking to short because again, there is such positive momentum in the market this moment in time. What we may look to do is if we can get price to come down, and again, the three days very, or is in, in overbought territory now, we would think this can come down and retest this kind of level, this 62, 64 cent, retest this horizontal line again. And that is where we would potentially be DCA buyers for the short term.